volcano got here from the sea level. We imagined something bursting out at, at the central of Sicily and then overflowing the lava and up to the up to the sea. But no, this was the other way around, like Sicilian usually do. And this happened with the bumping of the, the Faraglioni, the big rock that stayed there, linked to the legend of Polyphemus. Many craters opened different levels and they created all the lava valley up the summit area that today has five active craters, but that is only 60,000 years old. And then 3,000 feet collapsed 14,000 years and created the Bove Valley and all these transformations has also transformed the land and uh, created all the growing soil that has been terraced with such a big work, a big job, and, uh, but also the depression that could allow life grow at the feet of Mount Etna. Everything started at the Lemon Farm when I was a child. I used to live here and play here and also helping the workers harvesting the lemons. And I said, wow, this is a big job, a great business. And I learned all the tricky things of the business. Lemons, they recently got appellation, the IGP appellation, because it's, it's a specific Etna lemon belonging to a specific area of Etna that is embraced by two breezes. The one blowing from, from Etna, which brings the minerals erupting from the volcano, either the volcano is erupting or simply smoking, water vapor or sulfur or ashes, and the breeze from the the Tyrrhenian Sea that brings the iodine. So this melting of breezes creates the perfect mix to feed the skin and the, and the leaves of the lemons and release the acidity, the, that acidity that the food industry and the, the palate uh, the, um, are experiencing and researching for. The vegetable that uh, represents Sicily is uh, tomato. Tomato can express the minerality. The plant of tomato you water when it's very small for one week, 10 days at most, and then you live by itself because the roots have to struggle and find the water underneath. And what water they found? The water fr coming from Mount Etna, from the, melt the snow melted due, uh, after the winter that that uh, feed the roots of all the vegetables like the tomato, the zucchini, the eggplant and then when you fry an eggplant you don't need to add, to add salt or you just need a good uh, olive oil and then the flavor it stands in it already. The Etna apple are so tiny, so irregular that you wouldn't pay a penny for that but then you buy it and you feel like wow this is uh, the volcano. Diversity of cultivations is bound to the different composition of the soil that encloses all the minerals from Mount Etna and the salt from the sea and creates the perfect environment for different kind of grapes to grow, different kind of fruits to grow, the wheat, the ancient Sicilian wheat that still today can offer a great diversity of breads and flour to make so many food products. And this is uh, thanks to the, also the temperature that here respect uh, the seasons. From winter to autumn to spring to summer, we still experience that, that this is the important steps into the life of cultivations. Etna has uh, developed unique wines also thanks to the people who take care of the grape and the properties. The grape can change every 100 meters of the grown land and this is amazing because you really experience that and especially by the personality of the winemaker of the owner of the of the of the interpreter of the grape variety and the land
The quality level has increased because the winemakers have improved their knowledge. Thanks to the example of people coming from the north, why not to say, and then the Sicilians have learned and studied and, and put their, their touch into that interpretation of the soil they've grown into. And thanks to the knowledge and culture, you can make the best with the, the tradition and the technology combined in the, in the right balance. The quality has also improved because the audience has listened and the audience has appreciated and they have recognized the efforts made after the winemaking process. The diversity is also related to all the influences that we have experienced in so many years of invasions and sharing of different ideas and opinions uh, arriving from Spain, from France, from Northern Italy as well. We were so separated from Northern Italy when the reign of the two Sicily. Eastern Sicily has been involved into the Greek invasion at the beginning that gave us all the, the knowledge and the culture we have on, in our ground. And the Greek have taught us about the philosophy, the, the arts, the architecture, the creativity. And then the Romans came and they introduced the lamb. <laughs> the use of uh, the lamb that we eat is completely Roman linked. Then the, the Normans with the castles, all the castles we have were built and wanted by Frederick II. The Spanish introduced the, um, the ceramic, the arts of painting, and the French, the base of our cuisine. All the long preparations that we have today in our Sunday menus, we owe that to the French. I see a great future for Etna because I think uh, uh, the world is uh, recognizing the quality of the region and everything that is combined into a teamwork, everything that is uh, a combination of uh, efforts, everything that is made together can reach higher levels. So people is uh, looking for Sicilian wines first, but then now Etna wines, recognizing Etna as a region. If producers and growers keep that in mind, they can go higher, they can do bigger things. And most of them is doing, is working that direction. So they are combining efforts and ideas and sharing success. You, so pain and sex, and this is also the dualism of working with the soil, so we are learning. Living at the feet of a volcano or around a volcano, it's always an amazing and, uh, way of living because you think uh, you are like uh, under the protection but also under a spell. And this combination of uh, good feeling and bad feelings good things and bad things uh, put you always in, uh, into the, a, a research for balance. And this is a good aspect of uh, the tension between Mount Etna and uh, the worker. And it's like, uh, it's not putting both at the same level, but recognizing the difference between a mountain and an active volcano and the worker working into the soil. And it's a way to say always thank you because only frustration can help you improve and can help you mature. And also saying thank you helps uh, life uh, become sweeter. The volcanologists are constantly monitoring the releases of gases, the changes of temperature, the distance of the lava from the surface. The only thing they really cannot predict is the earthquakes, and this is the only fear we have. But you know, living and living uh, with the fear helps you realize you are a human being and put you in the right position very tiny compared to such a big giant like our Lady Etna.